Task Force 1 is just 43 nautical miles away from the Japanese carrier task force. They are quickly converging on the enemy, and hopefully will engage tonight or in the morning. Both task forces have similar compositions. It's going to be one heck of a fight, and losses are to be expected. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our War on the Sea series playing as the United States. It is August 19th, 1942, and we are tracking down this enemy carrier task force with Task Force 1 here. Um, the unfortunate part is they are sailing directly away from me and are moving at pretty much a similar speed as us. Uh, tracking them down is actually going to be rather difficult, and right before nightfall, I want to launch even more float planes here. Um, we'll get a couple more up in the air, so hopefully we can track this task force throughout the night. I'll just get them all up here, and I will organize them as we move forward. And we want to be sure our other float planes are tracking the target. This is definitely a micromanaging... <laughs> micromanagement heavy aspect of the game the uh the scouting anyway i'm gonna just try to sail in a straight line because if we do anything else they zigzag and i want to get there as quickly as possible we are currently 38 nautical miles give or take away from the ctf it is almost 1900 hours and we have kingfishers just swarming the area heavily saturated with our float planes. I also need to check down here. Don't want to get too uh, distracted there. We have our tanker that needs to refuel and take fuel to Rental Island. So we want to be sure we get that done with here. Only 33 nautical miles. So yeah, we're kind of staying at a similar distance away. Let's see, is that tanker here? No, not yet. We still have time. Currently... And look, we are losing them in nightfall. Our scouts can't pick up aircraft at night, so or can't pick up ships at night, so they're going to lose them. And I'm just going to have to guess. Looks like they're kind of heading north. I kind of like this course I have. Maybe we'll be able to intercept with something like this. Who the hell knows, but our scouts can't track at night, which is... Which is painful. <laughs> I wish they could. Um, we... We, def we might be able to catch them, but if we lose them, they could just change course any which way, and uh, we've lost them for the night. Um, let's go ahead and manage cargo here. Load on 100 fuel. Perfect. And these guys are going to make their way towards Rental Island. We have Task Force 3 here coming in as well, which is going to rearm and repair. And we'll see if we catch this carrier task force. If anything, uh, we don't get them tonight. In the morning, we'll launch our scout aircraft, but... I mean, this Kingfisher is directly over the formation. I mean, we could probably even... Let's go to tactical here. Start. Yep, there they are. They just don't appear on the map. That is the Japanese Carrier Task Force. Booking it out of here. Hmm. I would love to engage that. I think we would absolutely slaughter them for the most part. We may take losses due to how many uh, ships are in here that carry torpedoes. Like all these cruisers. All these light cruisers especially. But Oh well. Okay, retreat. Oh, what a beautiful task force. Uh, we'll see if we can catch it. Well, it's currently 1 o'clock in the morning. Of course, we have not intercepted that carrier task force. So hopefully we can catch them in the morning. Task Force 3 has arrived down here, and I think I'm just going to... First off, let's rearm everybody. Okay, all ships are rearmed. We're gonna keep the... Oh, just this one destroyer by the looks of things. Okay, everyone else is going to get released. And Chester, definitely. She is hurting. Alright, release her as well. We have 94 command points to play with. Hmm... Makes me think of what what exactly I want this task force to be. We have no other task force in that. We have two destroyers up here, so we're probably good on destroyers. We can merge those two. Alright, let's go to add units. Let's go to ships. Uh, American ships, of course. We don't need destroyers. A light cruiser may be nice. 94 points, though. Hmm. I do want... A tanker of some sort here soon. 
60 points for Tennessee, New Mexico, Pennsylvania, Colorado. Colorado, 65 points. Let me just go with the New Mexico class. Go with the Mississippi. For reasons. Uh, excuse moi. There we go. All right, that's 60 points. We have 30 points to play with now. New Orleans class. San Francisco, 82 points. All right, let's look at the light cruisers. Atlanta. Oh man, just shy. Hmm. All right, 82 points. We'll probably keep it there. We'll have these two and four destroyers. Three destroyers, excuse me. All right, we will merge these ships. Merge group. There we go. That should pack a fun punch. Uh, I probably was not the best move to get a battleship, but uh, hey, what the heck? Why not? <laughs> let's let's get one. Um, if anything, we could use it to maybe bombard some of these ports. I'm sure the battleship will come in handy. Okay, and uh, like I said, it's all good fun. We still have 12 points, so I can buy a tanker, I believe. I think the tankers are, are they 10 points or are they even more? If we can't buy it now, we'll be able to get it soon. C3, okay, the tanker is 15 points. So we can get those by just sinking a destroyer or something, for example. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, good stuff. I will keep you all updated on the carrier hunt. All right, everybody. It's nice and early in the morning, August 20th. Uh, so far, no sign of the enemy carrier. However, we have this. Two Japanese float planes just flew over Rental Island. And that has me slightly concerned because we just have two destroyers here. <laughs> Of course, we have our battleship on the way, but can't say I'm too confident in that. So we are going to we're going to bring Task Force One down. That means that means there's a fleet here. Um, as much as I would like the carrier, we are so far away at this point, and the carrier has no strike aircraft. Uh, the one we are tracking, we have to remember that. So they're probably going to RTB anyway. Um, Wait, let's get let's get these guys. Let's move them around a little bit. I have them meet up with uh, USS Mississippi, and I launched some Sunderlands down here. Some Ca Catalinas are taking off to do some scouting as well. I'm gonna launch more into the Solomon Sea area to see uh, what's going on in here because I'm sure that's where the task force kind of is. All right, I'll keep you all updated on this uh, front. Task Force 23. These two destroyers have been intercepted by aircraft, and uh, I think there's only one place aircraft can come from. Um, there's an enemy carrier down here. So I think I'm making the right call here. Is this the fastest way down here? 15 hours, 14. All right, we're gonna go right down, right through here. It's gonna be, oh, what the hell? Okay, let's see where these guys are gonna fly to. We may actually have the carrier pretty close. There's enemy aircraft there. All right, let's begin this. Start, turn on your radar, both of you. Auto fire, good, good, good. Uh, make your best speeds. Make your best speeds. This is probably gonna be yeah, a lot of enemy aircraft. Yep, lots of zeros with their little bombs. All right, begin evasive maneuvers. Oh boy. Yeah, definitely an enemy carrier group. Well, that makes things uh, a little more interesting. That's for sure. Okay, I wrote our midships. A little bit of flak. It's only two destroyers, so they're not going to be able to put up a massive fight here. Alright, let's zig back. Oh, brother. 
Okay, increase speed 37 knots. Please move. Yeah, fair. Just start turning in circles. Okay. Small caliber stuff is going up. They've just dropped their bombs by the looks of things. Come on, get one. Can't let them get off of this easy. I'm sure we're not about to collide. Okay, no hits. Okay, looks like they've dropped. Okay, no hits. More coming in. It's not over yet. And they're just flying so high and so quick. It's hard to get them. Okay, last formation coming in. Oh, we got one smoking at the very least. Doesn't mean much, but... Got another one smoking. Zero hits. Yep, no hits. Alright, we're safe. Let's see if we shoot one down here. That would be fantastic. That's zero flying overhead. I could have deployed smoke as well. That probably would have helped. Alright. Let's retreat. That is concerning. That's for sure. How long is it going to take this task force to get here? 20 hours. Oh, no. What do we have here? Flying fortresses. It's arranged on our Havocs. <laughs> Rockets. Um, one 1,600-pound bomb. What's the range? 699 nautical miles. Done. Let's head over here and now let's track where they're to the south they're to the south okay i was expecting them to be to the north okay we'll start scouting to the south i'll start heading this way as uh they're using their zero as a scout aircraft by the looks of things maybe maybe hope is not lost yet well here we go enemy dive bombers <laughs> just intercepted our two destroyers um let's get our destroyers yeah 750 yards apart is fine start Turn on your radar, fire at will. This may be rough. This may be rough. Okay, they're all coming in. Of course they are. All right, let's break. All ahead, flank. And start turning. That worked pretty well earlier, so we'll see how this goes this time. Actually, we're going to have Fair get turned the other way. How about that? And here they come. Vals. Hmm. Yeah, these bombs are going to hurt if they actually hit. Oh, boy. Definitely a carrier. Definitely a fleet carrier, too. I hope we're able to find that soon. I wonder, like, the composition of the, the rest of the task force. It could be pretty rough. Alright, hole's still turning. Okay, good. Watch our poor destroyers as they uh, get bombed here. This is what it feels like to be on the other side of this, I suppose. They may try to uh, land troops on Rental Island or something as well. That's uh, something I need to consider. That would be uh, disastrous. Hopefully we can take out some of these valves though at the very least. I think we're hitting them good. Come on. Oh, gosh. I don't like this at all. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. We are so freaking lucky. We are so lucky. Okay, here comes an another formation. Ooh, okay. One minor hit. Oh, brother, we're smoking. We're on fire. All right, more bombs away. Another hit. That one looked a little a little worse. Okay, hold. Deploy smoke. 
damage report. Flooding fire. Okay, here comes the next round. Missed. That could have been so much worse. Is one going for Farragut? No. Are we really not going to shoot one of these guys down? Oh my goodness. Okay. Paul will go ahead and slow down. We'll make repairs. We'll make repairs here. All guns are still in action. We have one compartment that's just flooded out, so that's okay. Everything is good. That could have been significantly worse. All right, they have now launched uh, torpedo planes against us. <laughs> oh, these, these poor destroyers. These poor, poor destroyers. Hopefully we can shoot a couple of these down at least. Need some time compression, turn on radar. Yeah, they're spiraling down the altitude. Man. All right, they're closing in. See if they get any, uh, hopefully they don't get any hits <laughs> on uh, our poor destroyers. They're already engaging. All ahead flank. All ahead. Spray formation ahead flank, please. Oh, brother. That's a lot of torpedo planes as well. That's a, It's going to be brutal. Looks like they're going for hull once again. Let's actually have Farragut turn around if they're targeting her. So, I'm not sure what's up with these rear mounts glitching out like that. It's kind of annoying. Alright. Let's turn around. Alright, they're coming in. Alright, small caliber stuff is engaging. They are going for Farragut. Alright, time to start dodging. If we had to shoot some down, that would be just so fantastic. Alright, let's turn. Oh, brother. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Shit. I'm going to eat two. She's done. She's going down. No doubt about it. More coming in. Still have two more, two more flights. Oh my god! I can't believe we can't shoot down a couple of, uh, a couple of Kates here. We haven't shot down a single. Oh, we've shot down one. Okay. Uh, she is losing so much speed now. I don't know. She's probably going to eat this one, unless it's a dud. Can't turn quick enough. And, uh, yep, yeah, I don't think that's going to be a dud. Oh, no. More torpedoes? Yep, yeah, she's sinking. I am not shocked. She ate three torpedoes? Holy cow. She's about to eat a few more by the looks of things. Pull still engaging. Wow. Retreat. Of course we lost one. They launched 12 aircraft. They only lost one aircraft. Wow. 
Okay. Well, I'm going to pull this guy back now. Our A20 should be in the area soon. Um, do I have fighters? P38s. No bombs or anything. Get over here. Okay. Um, looks like there's more float planes out here. I believe that's what that is. All right, I'll keep you all updated. Okay, we found the second carrier group. Six destroyers, two light cruisers, one battleship, and one enemy carrier. Our A20s are RTBing now because they're out of uh, endurance. No more fuel. They have PBYs in the area. We're going to have them track. Um, man, this task force is pretty pitiful. I will say we also found the other enemy carrier group. It's over here. Um, task Force 1 may be able to engage that. I mean, they're just so far away right now. There's not a whole lot we can do. And I probably want to hold my tanker back, at least until nightfall, uh, to build that airstrip. Okay, well, this is this is heating up. This is getting super interesting, actually. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens. Here we go, folks. This is it right here. They're about to engage. Got them. Let's go. Okay, this other carrier group's getting super intimidating, but we will deal with that one later. Uh, this one, um, let's get into a proper battle formation. I want a battle line, please. Number one, the leader will be Chicago. All right, swap positions. Chicago will be in the lead. Number two will be Louisville. Number three, Pensacola. Number four, Wichita. Okay, I'm liking that. Number eight and number seven will be our two light cruisers. Okay. Number five and number six will be our two destroyers. We are a thousand yards apart. That is good. Let's go to tactical and get this done. Hopefully we don't take too many losses. I want to minimize losses here, considering we have another group we have to freaking deal with. Okay, turn on radar. And let's turn off fire at will. Start. Oh my gosh. There's zeros. That's not good. Okay, let's um We only have one detected. That's the carrier there. All right, begin opening fire on the enemy carrier. Begin opening fire on that. We we'll have our three heavies engaged the carrier. That is obviously our primary target. Um, and I do want to work on crossing the T here. However, I want to first figure out which way uh, the enemy group is moving. Okay, all these zeros are coming in. Hopefully, hopefully we can take them out easily. What the heck is this? Just another zero. Okay, let's identify. Let's identify the target real quick. Japanese aircraft carrier. Let's flip to it. Uh, ships. Okay. Let's picking up ships. Hiyo. Recognize. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of zeros. We have a lot of kingfishers in the area as well. They're probably going to get torn to shreds. Okay, Chicago, we need to start turning this way. Turning to the east. Okay, here come the zeros. They're little bombs. They're not going to do much against our heavy cruisers, but they could hurt a destroyer. Okay, let's get the whole formation turned around here. We have, have we gotten any hits yet? Not that I can tell. They're engaging. Oh, they're probably just engaging us. Okay, what is number two? Number two is a heavy cruiser. All right, Wichita, engage. Everyone else will engage that heavy cruiser. Engage that. 
Let's identify real quickly. Do do do. I just pass her. I I know what this is, but I'm having a I'm having a moment. Yeah, Tony. All right. Hopefully we can get our our stuff together here. Firing high explosive. Do I have armor piercing? We do have armor piercing. Make sure you're firing armor piercing even on these secondaries. All three turrets are able to engage now. Perfect. It's a lot of firepower heading their way. These zeros are just swarming ahead like like ants. Now hopefully we start shooting them down. My gosh, our anti-air uh, gunners need some training. <laughs> there we go. Finally shot another down. More bombs just dropped there. All right. Okay, we're going to break you off of the formation. Go ahead and head off this way at full speed. And same with Cummings. Go ahead and break out of the formation and head this way. It's going to be hard to get them nice and close for a torpedo run, but... Okay, we are dropping aircraft left, right, and center. That's what I like to see. Why is she... Looks like they're stopping. Maybe having some issues. Oh, she's on fire. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right off the bat. Oh, but one of our destroyers is already on fire as well. Damage report. Just a couple of minor fires. All right, we're gonna have Cummings break off. What's your range to the enemy? 13,000 yards? Yeah, that's right. A little too far for now. All right, let's get you out of here. I wonder if she would, yeah, she was probably hit by a shell. How's everything going here? You're looking okay, honestly. Kind of looks like a, a mess. <laughs> All right, we're starting to get formed up rather well here. Okay, everything is going rather well. I've actually shifted Pensacola's fire onto the heavy cruiser, which is now ablaze back there. So only Chicago and Louisville are engaging the enemy aircraft carrier for the time being. However, uh... Oh, a magazine explosion on the carrier? Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. That's the, just the kind of luck I like. I'm curious, let's see the report. Heavy damage, moderate flooding, deck is on fire. Holy cow, amazing. Solution's only at 50% right now. Chicago, 46. And we finally have taken out most of those, uh, those annoying uh, zeros that are overhead. Fantastic. It looks like they're deploying smoke, they uh, May not be uh, having the best time. Well, I think we'll be able to certainly sink the carrier now at this point. Um, we need to turn in. We need to start chasing. We have them on the run. Let's go get them. All right, here we go, everybody. Official confirmation, the enemy aircraft carrier is going down. We got her. That is our primary objective, sinking. We are going to transition Louisville and Chicago's fire to this heavy cruiser. This is the other Tone class that uh, was in the task force. Uh, the first one we were engaging is running away, and now we are just lighting this thing up. <laughs> Columbia has a fire. What's going on here? Okay, she was hit pretty hard, unfortunately. Where's her position? She needs to break off. 
Let's get her out of here. She's out of ammo in her forward magazine as well. Okay, start laying smoke. Get out of here. Increase speed as fast as you can go. We'll turn Chicago and the rest of our battle line in a little bit more and keep on pushing the attack. Uh, try to sink as many as possible of the heavy targets anyway. If we can get a heavy cruiser and maybe a couple of light cruisers, that would be fantastic. These Japanese light cruisers uh, do not hold up very well. Um, they're pretty easy to sink. And there's quite a few of them here. Uh, that's uh, more command points we can gain. Let's uh, let's see the report real quick. Heavy damage, moderate flooding on this one. I believe, yeah, that's number three. The other one's okay, but she's still sailing away and getting out of here. Hopefully we'll be able to sink at least this one. Uh, Cummings is making her way back into the fight. Uh, she repaired all of her damage and is now looking pretty good. Pretty good. Overall, this fight is going well. Minimal damage to our ships, and uh, we are definitely dishing it out. Our battle lines have gotten pretty darn close to each other. We are now engaging that Kuma that is nice and close to us. Well, some of us are. Most of the ships are still engaging that uh, heavy cruiser that's out there. We also have Cummings coming in. I'm hoping to get a torpedo run on the heavy cruiser to finish her off, as she is pretty separated from the rest of the formation. But while we are here, we're going to inflict some damage on these light cruisers then. Yeah, we are already tearing this one a new one. Um, yeah, she's getting hit repeatedly now. Uh, it looks like we got her locked in. Uh, the heavy cruiser seems to be doing okay. She's pretty heavily damaged. Uh, however, she doesn't have any more flooding, so we may swing back around uh, to finish her off. Also, like I said, if we can get the destroyer nice and close and have a solid torpedo run, that would be glorious. Uh, but it looks like this uh, Kuma we are engaging is already slowing down. Looks like her speed's 18, 17 knots. Yeah, uh, she has been just obliterated. We need to keep our eyes peeled for enemy torpedoes, though, at this range. That is definitely going to be a major, major concern. And uh, something that could inflict quite a bit of damage. Because right now, uh, we have done extremely well. Uh, one carrier sunk. One light cruiser probably sunk at this point and then uh, maybe a heavy cruiser. We're expending a lot more ammo than I would like, uh, considering that other f fleet is down to the south, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with that when the time comes. Okay, we are good for a torpedo launch. It's actually saying it's a 70% uh, solution, so we're just going to manual fire here or just automatic fire, and we'll see how they do. 4,000 yards out. This target is being bracketed. She's down to six knots. It's going to be kind of hard to miss, I would think. Cummings is already deploying smoke. She's launched. Let's get the hell out of here. Get out of here. Uh, Chicago's swinging around. Or changing our formation. We want to start heading west at this point. This Kuma, I mean, she is, she is done for. She is done for. Okay. Uh, Chicago, what is number six? Number six is an enemy destroyer. Engage that with high explosive. Fire high explosive. And you fire high explosive as well. Things are going to get a little bit spicy now. Um, we want to engage this destroyer because of all those, those torpedoes. That's for sure. Okay, we got two launchers, two guns in the rear. Oh, um, yes, let's go with that. Okay, Louisville, what are you engaging? You're still engaging that Kuma. Still engaging that Kuma, that's fine. Sydney, begin engaging the destroyer. Pensacola, engage the other light cruiser. I don't think this Kuma is going to be doing too much. There we go, she is sinking. All right, Louisville, engage that destroyer as well. Yo, magazine explosion? There we go. There's no way she's lasting much longer. Okay. Wichita, what are you engaging? What's number four here? Number four is another light cruiser. That is going to be our target for you. Kind of splitting fire a little bit between our ships now, just inflicting as much damage as possible. Um, 
go with a Nagara. Okay, Wichita's engaging Nagara. Pensacola, you engage that as well. No ammunition of that type available. What are we out of? Uh, secondaries, I'm guessing. Yeah, out of secondary ammunition. Okay, Louisville is engaging this destroyer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we don't want her getting close, so. Good work, good work. Guess this is another little destroyer. Um, once this one is, this destroyer we're engaging is sufficiently uh, messed up, we will transition to that other destroyer. Uh, Cummings just lobbed a whole load of torpedoes this way. I mean, this thing's gotta be going down, right? It's gotta be going down. Columbia's still engaging her. Let's have Columbia turn around. Uh, she was damaged, that's why I had her turn around. She can stop deploying smoke as well. Go ahead and cut that. All right, bringing our battle line around. Okay, this, that destroyer is destroyed. Switch to number eight. Switch to number eight. Let's identify number eight real quick. It is tiny, not worth much, but we are going to sink it regardless. Okay, that destroyer, number six, is indeed going down. Fantastic. Okay, I love this. Kamikaze, we will identify it as such, uh, even though that is incorrect. That is incorrect, a minikaze. Okay, identify it. We'll fire at it a little bit here. Um, actually, Chicago, transition to the Nagara. You fire at her, Louisville will engage that Minikaze. Sydney, engage that Minikaze as well. Pensacola is engaging Nagara, and so is Wichita. All right, good, good, good. We have a fire on Chicago, minor. Okay, we're getting hit quite a bit. Can we, uh, can we ruin this guy's day? Can we ruin this guy's day now? You know, I'm not even going to bring up. I'm not even going to bring it up at this point. Uh, there's a there's a certain Japanese weapon <laughs> that uh, is capable of inflicting a lot of damage, and I gotta admit, I'm getting super paranoid about it. But I'm not not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna jinx us like that. We're doing so well. Uh, looks like our auto launch torpedoes did not do too well. Chicago is taking a beating from all these small... Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. I was waiting for it. Oh, uh, we have more coming in. I can barely even see them. Uh-oh. Uh, that's what I get. We're going to eat another. I ate three. Fuck me. Oh, poor Chicago. Uh, there's there's nothing. She's gone. Deploy smoke. Okay. Yeah, Chicago's going down. Okay, form up. Keep on pushing. Nagara sinking, another light cruiser going down. All right, engage that, whatever that is. What is number five? A small little destroyer. Engage it. Yeah, engage these destroyers now. There we go, already got a good explosion going on there. Hopefully, we can get some torpedo hits here. How are you doing? I can't believe we, that's our, that's the largest ship we've lost thus far. We finally lost uh, something larger than a destroyer. That's actually pretty unfortunate. I am, that's what I get for pushing as hard as I was. And there she goes. But you know what? We've inflicted a lot of damage. I did not intend, I was actually thinking of disengaging right after, uh, right after sinking the carrier. But I mean, this is just such a good opportunity. Okay, 
Lewis Bill's on fire. We need to keep our eyes peeled for torpedoes again. There we go. That one's going down. Engage number nine. Sydney, engage this Minikaze. And same with this Wichita. Okay, engage those. All right. We're down to just a couple. This light cruiser's booking it out of here. I think it's time to start turning away. Definitely time to start turning away. You know what? I'm glad we actually lost a ship. That was, this was, would have been too easy if we didn't have any losses. Just ruin that little destroyer's day. Okay, these torpedoes may end up hitting, thankfully. Other than that, Chicago, damage has been minimal. Ma magazine explosion. Good work. You're engaging this Minikaze. She's not looking very good. She is not looking very good. <laughs> All right, Sydney, begin engaging. Begin, begin engaging the light cruiser there. All right, everybody begin engaging that now. Engage that light cruiser. Okay, we are running low on ammo. Sydney will keep engaging this Minikaze, actually. I mean, she's pretty much, there we go, she's going down. All right, engage that. Let's look at this Tone. Is she going to eat a torpedo? Oh my gosh, you lucky son of a. Oh nope, she's gonna eat one right in the bow. Don't be a dud. Woo, thank goodness. That's what I wanted. That's gotta finish her off. The only thing that's escaping is this. Which I may swing around to engage. What do we have left to lose? I mean, let's see the report here. Critical damage, heavy flooding. Okay. Louisville, engage that. What's her speed? Her speed is zero. Okay, fire armor piercing, manual fire right on top of her. Oh man, are we out of armor piercing in our forward magazine? We are. It is not good. Narrow spread. 9,000 yards out. Let's just finish this thing off. There we go. There's some hits. I think we need to disengage after sinking this. How's this Sendai looking? Not good. <laughs> Not good. That's, uh, that's an understatement there. Yeah, we'll just finish these two off. We'll let this uh, heavy cruiser get away. Louisville, start heading north to uh, get out of here. Seventy percent solution. Uh, the thing is, only I mean, how many? We only have fifty-four armor-piercing rounds in our rear magazine. She's taking on a lot of water, though. Looks like all of her turrets are out of action as well. Not a big threat. How is this poor little light cruiser looking? Not good. I think we'll sink her as well. One hell of a battle. We, uh, we cleaned up rather well. I'm, I'm upset we lost Chicago, but, um, I was expecting to lose some ships, so. And it's cool to find, have some, uh, back and forth going on here. Struck by a torpedo. Oh, okay. I thought I heard the torpedo sound. This was from earlier, two minutes ago. Aircraft 10's down. Okay, we shot down another enemy airplane. Cool. I mean, what's this thing speed? 17 knots. I'm impressed. Are any of her guns even still firing? 
It looks like her rear mount. Okay. The stern mounts are still uh, firing by the looks of things. They're still aiming. Uh, yeah, okay. She's still pretty capable. But my goodness. How's this looking? Man, she is tough. Critical flooding now, so she probably will go down. All right, let's change course slightly. Bring more guns to bear on the enemy light cruiser. She is putting up a... Uh, a decent fight, I suppose. Anything else? Okay, we lost contact on the other Japanese uh, heavy cruiser, which ran away. Shameful. Columbia's moving in. Yeah, we're just, this is a mopping up operation. Ooh, wouldn't it be fantastic if one of these torpedoes hit here? I don't think that's going to happen, but would have been cool. All right, I'll keep you all updated on the mopping up operation. All right, here we go, folks. So this last light cruiser is going down. I had it identified as a Sendai. That was uh, incorrect considering it only has three funnels, but she is sinking, so there is that. And also, so is the heavy cruiser. Finally, we closed in pretty close to just finish her off 3,000 yards away, my goodness. Um, yeah, no, no uh, sign of any more Japanese ships. There's one heavy cruiser that's getting away, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and retreat. Or right, let's just see the report here. Wow, okay. <laughs> Looks like only one Japanese ship got away. One heavy cruiser. Uh, we destroyed everything else, including the carrier. Uh, they launched 15 aircraft. They lost 15 aircraft. We sunk 57,150 tons, or nine ships, and gained 55 command points. We lost one heavy cruiser, 9,000 tons sent down to the bottom, unfortunately, which uh, definitely less than ideal, uh, but only minor damage on some of these other ships. So we really just need to rearm uh, back at the New Hebrides and get back out there to find this other carrier group and hopefully uh, sink them. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I will see you all on the next one.